kayang gawin. Ito kayang tanggapin. Ano? Hindi ko kayang bumitaw. I don't know. So, nandito na nga kami sa Dennis in Robinson sa Emita. And this is where we're gonna do the mukbang. So, as for now, mo-order muna tayo. And so far, I like what I'm seeing in the room. One eternity later. So this is their waffle slam. So they have the waffles, the bacon, the sausage, and the egg. Because this is their um, original slam. So original pancake slam. So they have the pancake. Sobrang laki guys. Ayan yung kamay ko. Ayan. Ayan siya kalaki. And the sir salad. So sobrang nakikrave ako sa salad. So ayan siya. Then we ordered the orange mint. So this is an orange juice with a twist. They put the mint in it. And of course, their Oreo milkshake. So sabi nila, this is among their sellers. So we're gonna try it. Let's see if it's worth every penny. Now that the food is here, we're going to start with the mokta. Now, um, I posted a few days ago sa Instagram na I'll be doing a mokta for the first time. So, um, I'll just try. But we're here at Denny's and we ordered this food and, um, I'll be reading the questions asked by a few followers. I'll be reading a few lang. Baka kasi maging sobrang haba ng video. Okay, so we're gonna do it while eating. So. Oh, let's eat. Ay. Oh, if you don't know, I don't eat chicken. Kasi sobrang allergic ako. Pero finish ko itong scissor salad. I'm going to check it because I'm so happy that 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 I'm so happy. Aware naman na yung iba, and I have also mentioned this in my blog that 
um, I am using this um, application called Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. So I have uh, presets that I use in here that are given to me by my friends and yung iba, uh, sariling template ko siya. So these are the photos. parang sobrang raw ng photo, parang I, I need to correct some of its colors and yan. So, I want to add something like this one. Bawa yan, this is the original photo. I don't upload it as it is. Yes, maganda naman siya, but I think it's better if you will be enhancing it a little. So, ayan. It is a preset. Okay. Um, I'm thinking of sharing my preset soon, so stay tuned. hindi mo lagi kasama sa mga travel or picture or vlog mo yung boyfriend mo. Ito siya, o. Oh. <laughs> Ayaw niya. This is usually the person behind the camera. Pagkasama ko siya. As much as possible naman, we try to go together. Pero because of work, you know, he can uh, take
um, just pack the appropriate stuff that you need when you travel and know what you're going to do. I mean, you, you read beforehand about the place that you're going to. Tapos, um, you list, you list down the things that you will be needing. We just finished the salad, guys. Masarap. Masarap. Okay. Uh, to continue, our next question is... This one is, um, like, masabi na sobrang tamis niya eh. Tama lang. Kasi hindi ako ganun ka, ano, sa sobrang matamis eh. Pero ito, sa ko lang, ang thick niya. And it tastes really good. So, for the next question, tell me about the most interesting place you've ever traveled to. For me, ha, every place is interesting kasi they have a unique uh, I always have a unique experience into every place where I went to. Um, it's about the people, their language, their food, their culture in there. Um, yun, pero ano ba? Sobrang unique. Mm, one, yes, guys, one of the most interesting places I've ever been to is Malabang. Well, extraordinary siya talaga among the other beaches that I've ever been to. Palawan is one of the best that I've been to. And Palabang is the best. Uh, best. Anong the I said me. I've been to. So, ayun. What is it in Palabang that makes it very interesting compared to the other places that I've been to? Sobrang surreal ng mga islands and beaches. Walang photobomber. And then everything is just so um, pristine, untouched. Yun. Um, among my favorite islands in there is Kandaraman. So, sobrang laking island na it has its own sandbar. Tapos ayun yung sandbar na may sobrang madaming starfish na nag-trending lately because uh, pinaglalaroan ng mga tao yung starfish. And they're holding it and positioning it and stuff. And another favorite of mine is Siksikan Island. So it's one of the best snorkeling and dive spots in Palabang. Ayun. And of course, the most iconic Onuk Island because of its stilts. Tapos pag umaga, talagang mababa yung tubig niya, guys. Kasi isa siyang malaking sandbar. Ayun. Tapos the, water, the color of the waters is just so fantastic. They're all striking and beautiful. Different shades of blue. There's cerulean, there's azure, and there's the deep blue. Ayun. So, kita ko tama talaga. At the same time, doon sa may paligid ng Onuk Island, pag kumakarating sa azure, colors of the water. Uh, merong dive spot. May wall kasi doon. Sobrang ganda ng view sa part na yun. Ayun. Next question. Do you like jazz and blues? Come to Ireland and we will show you. <laughs> Come to Ireland. If I have money, why not? <laughs> Uh, my into jazz and blues depends sa mood eh. Pag rainy ah. Yeah. But most of the time, I listen to psychedelic rock, psychedelic punk, punk rock, my like core of spades, um, punk, 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 alternative rock. Mostly Monique. <laughs> Yannick Salonga. Um, uh, alternative rock. Uh, yun, yun, those are the... the the genres I listen to because I really love Tame Impala, Unique Salonga, Four of Spades, Vita and the Butterflies, Halina, She's Only 16, The 1975, Arctic Monkeys, mm, The Last Shadow Puppets, Auto Tenic, sobrang, sobrang dami. Sobrang gaganda ng kanta nila guys, so you should listen to it. So recently, I've been sharing the songs that I'm listening to. So if you're interested, you can slide into my DMs and I can send you my playlist. So I call it the underrated because I don't know if a lot of people are listening to it. Siguro, the people with uh, the same taste as mine. So ayun. Next question, what's your best or unforgettable childhood memory? Siguro yung reason kung bakit ako allergic at nagpobil sa mundo. Kasi hinabol ako ng manok na walang ulo. 
<laughs> so my phobia because of that, ever since I was seven years old, I ako kumain ng malo. And when I tried in 2015, I was in the hospital because I was in the hospital. So until now, I can't enjoy it. Ayan. So recently, I didn't eat it. We ordered chicken seeds or salad, but I did not eat it. I gave it to him. Because I didn't really eat it. Ano pa ba? Ayan. So, ayan na lahat ang muna ng question na sasagot mo. Kasi, ang dami. Hindi ba nyo ka-enjoy yung question? So, kami naman, ang itatry namin ay yung kanilang original pancake shop. Sabi nila, ito yung parang, ang tawag yung zip. Parang banner ba? Or something like best seller. Ayan. So, here it is. Ito ba? So they have the sausage and then bacon, eggs, and then pancake. Ano kanong pancake nila, guys? Ayan, we're going to the right now. I'm not using the straw, it's a plastic straw. And I was not able to bring my... Um, I was not able to bring my metal straw. From anything echo, guys, you should try that. I posted it recently because that's what it is in fast food. When you order food, they tell you that they don't have plastic straws. They don't have plastic straws. But it turns out that when you give it to you, there are paper cups. There are plastic cups. There are styrofoam. There are disposable. There are plastic straws. 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 I posted that on my page and someone replied and commented na kasi parang straws are too small, they can be ingested easily compared to spoon and forks, yung mga ganyan. Ayun. But still, I mean, why just can't they be consistent? Thank you. 